you would check it out and check it out because I've told y'all for the longest, man. But some of y'all really don't hear me, okay? When you think about the entertainment industry, please stop talking about friends. These niggas ain't friends. They're business partners. That's really what it is. It's all about the motherfucking money. Every relationship you see in the music business and really in entertainment, period, you could probably pinpoint some type of business or transactions being done in the background. Now, for the fans, you don't got to let the fans know the business. You tell the fans you guys are just best friends and homies and they'll just believe it because fans are gullible. Now, let's think about Drake, okay? The story with Drake that everybody kind of knows is that Drake was introduced to Lil Wayne by Jazz Prince and basically he signed to YMCMB. That's, of course, Lil Wayne and Birdman Sandusky, okay? Now, you probably think, okay, that's kind of simple. Now, it's not that simple when you kind of check out the paperwork behind the scenes, the actual business. If I'm someone who found Drake, I know he's going to be big, right? You're not going to just sign him and you get all the money. I want a finder's fee, okay? So pretty much what allegedly happened is this, okay? Basically, Jazz Prince brings Drake to Lil Wayne's manager, right? And they create a record label and sign Drake to it directly, which means they already have Drake signed to a record label. Now, the record label is supposedly called Aspire Music Group. I know, you've never heard of it, and you probably will never hear of it because it was only meant to sign Drake. Now, they sign Drake to this record label, and basically, this is where the shopping goes. These managers who are already managing Drake, they're going to shop him to labels, and somebody says, well, let's just see if Lil Wayne wants to fuck with him, okay? Lil Wayne hears some music. Lil Wayne said, oh shit, this kid could actually spit. I want to sign him. Now, Lil Wayne doesn't sign Drake directly because Drake is already signed. So what ends up happening? Basically, the company or Aspire Music Group, the record label that signed Drake, they go into a joint venture with YM, which is Young Money, and Cash Money, which is a CMB part, which is Burman Sandusky, and they basically say, yo, when, a, when the profits come in, we're going to all split this shit, okay? It kind of works out. Now, think about the people who are eating. Birdman, he's definitely eating, okay? Lil Wayne, he's definitely going to eat too, okay? The people who created Aspire Music Group, they're going to eat, but if you think about the people who created the group, it's a bunch of uh, managers, like we're talking about Cortez Bryant. We're talking about uh, Gerald G. Robertson. These guys are not Jazz Prince. Now, apparently, and this is why Jazz Prince is suing, okay? He said, I had a verbal agreement with these guys that managed Drake that created this, like, this dummy um, record label just to sign Drake. We had a verbal agreement that I would get 22% off all of his royalties while he's still signed, okay? Now, if you think about the amount of albums Drake has put out, that means Jazz Prince would be getting 22% off whatever would be going to Aspire Records. Remember, I told you how a dollar is getting split. Drake is getting paid, Birdman, Wayne, Aspire, okay? So, basically... 22% of the Aspire share should be going to Jazz Prince, or so he claims. Now, he's saying, I never got that. And by the way, there's some other, like, percentages, like, for example, like, 5% of uh, uh, the, the master recordings, gross compensation. It, it's a bunch of other legal terminology, but I'm kind of giving you the gist of it, because believe me, it's confusing even a little bit to me. Now... Let's just say this, because this is what's now being reported, that the number has actually inflated over the years, and now the number has ballooned to 11 million, and basically, they want, and I'm talking about Jazz Prince, who wants cash money to pay up, and basically saying, hey, I'm done making all these threats, you guys need to pay up, we had this agreement, and because there was this agreement in place, I should have received compensation. Now, all the checks are coming from Universal. They're coming through cash money. From cash money, Wayne is getting paid, Drake is getting paid, and this Aspire group is getting paid. So basically, Jazz Prince said, I never got no checks. Give me my money, okay? And pretty much cash money is in court saying, nigga, we don't even have a written deal with you. Right? So Jazz Prince is there like, yo, okay, hopefully a judge will honor a oral agreement or a oral contract. That's going to be hard, but considering you were the guy that quote, quote, found Drake, you would probably battle it out even if you lose a couple thousand or maybe even tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands trying to get the millions that Drake has actually made, right? So that's the whole process about it. It's been going on for years. I don't expect it to really stop now, but it's interesting to see that figure actually pop up now because he has done some estimation to say I'm over. Old 11 million 
$1,000, okay? I hope you guys understand it. If you don't understand it, please get in the comment section and say you don't. If you do understand it, say thank you for the explanation. I'm trying to get you guys to at least understand what's going on in the background because a lot of fuckery, okay? We could believe that Drake and Lil Wayne, they're so best friends, but just remember that every time Drake actually makes a song, Lil Wayne is getting paid. So the reason why he's in the club bumping back to back, yeah, of course, maybe he fucks with Drake, but he fucks with that cash as well, okay? Get in the comments, make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe to Woody Academics. I'm out.